Hi, this video is a part of machine learning from scratch playlist. In this playlist, I explain different machine learning algorithms implemented from scratch using Python. You can download the relevant Python files from the link given in the description of each video. Note that I do not code along, rather I make use of pen for explaining the tricky parts of code so that you people can read the notebooks and understand them yourself and of course re-implement them yourself. I'm expecting my audience to be well versed with machine learning general understanding and they just need little hints for implementation of these algorithms from scratch. In this video, I'll talk about page rank algorithm, which is used for recommending search pages in any search engine. How it works, what is the idea, and how to implement it. Let's talk about it. Okay, so we are dealing here with the page rank algorithm, uh, which is used in different search engines for finding out the relevant search pages. So it rank order of pages from most to the least probable page the surfer will be viewing. Now, the idea is very simple. The idea is that the important web websites will be linked to by important websites. So consider this A, a web page or website. This B is another website, C, D, E, and F. A has a link towards D, and D has a link towards C, and C has a link toward D and A and F. These arrows, these arrows represent basically a link from one, one, um, one website to another website. This will be stored in this uh, matrix form where this column is representing the probability of uh, leaving from A, that sum to 1, because we can leave from A to either A, the link should be from either A to A, or A to B, or A to C, or A to D, or A to E, or A to F. Uh, so if you are considering only this much, uh, like uh, these uh, six web pages in total of the internet, in real scenario, of course, this graph will be really complex, but consider only this sub, sub graph of uh, a complete internet. So what will happen is once we uh, store this information here, then uh, this uh, this column will represent the probability of leaving from website A, and this row will represent actually the probability of entering into A from either F or or you know uh, G of uh, from F or E or D or C or B or A. So this matrix is an important matrix. This will be given as an input, and this input we could we could uh, we could find it out by scrapping the internet, uh, like uh, by web scrapping we can find out which web page has linked to which other web pages, and we can store that information and and and, and store it in in this matrix, and this rank will be initially initialized uh, randomly. Uh, suppose we have six values, so we will initialize it by one by six for each of the uh, each of if for each of the website rank will be one by six, which is about zero point one six, I guess. So uh, this will be initialized randomly and our task is to learn this rank matrix given this matrix containing the information of interlinks how will we find this rank matrix uh, this rank vector so one of the thing that we could do is use the idea of eigenvalues and eigenvectors and this is what basically happens under the hood mathematically if you remember the principal component analysis, uh, the dimensionality reduction algorithm, uh, and uh, you understand eigenvalues and eigenvectors there, and the importance of these eigenvectors and eigenvalues, and what do they represent, then uh, I'm hoping that you will also understand this idea of uh, uh, of of doing this uh, this uh, singular value decomposition, or finding these eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this L matrix, and and calling this R uh, the eigenvector. Uh, why? Because because uh, that is that is uh, what the underlying concept of eigenvalues and eigenvectors is. Now, what are those eigenvalues? What are those eigenvectors? Intuitively, what does it mean? Uh, these are mathematical concepts, and I'm expecting that you know it. If you don't, uh, there are tons and tons of videos and and, and um, articles about it. Please have a look at it. And if uh, you are if you are working in in data science industry or in machine learning uh, fields, then then I'm pretty much sure that you know about this principal component analysis. If you know, then under the hood, uh, it uses these ideas. So kindly have a look at it. Now the problem is that it is computationally expensive to find out these eigenvalues and eigenvectors. So what we need is, you know, we need uh, approximate uh, another way of uh, approximating this solution to finding out the almost uh, similar uh, but computationally efficient solution. So how do we do it? We first equally initialize this rank vector, and uh, after equally initializing this rank vector, then we iterate again and again, finding the dot product between L and R then after some time it will actually uh, converge so we will achieve this convergence okay the idea is really same and we will uh, we'll show you that once we take the principal eigenvector of this l matrix we get this rank vector and if we randomly initialize this rank vector 
and we iteratively find out the dot product between this L matrix and our vector, we come to almost the same solution. And this is quite interesting. Now, the only problem that we are will be dealing is let's let's let, let's deal that problem here. That is, uh, consider we have another node G. Now, what what this node G does is that it do not link to any other page. Instead, it link to only itself. So, all of the web pages ultimately will 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 go to page G and in it and they will never leave this website or this web page. So, our rank weight will go here. And this is really problematic if you look at it. So we need a solution for that. So what we do is we introduce randomness. Instead of storing this simple L vector, what we store is a DL plus one minus D divided by N multiplied by L. So this D is showing the probability of following a link and uh, you know, a usual link if we, uh, if we go to F, so whatever the link tells us, we, we follow that link. And this one minus D will represent the probability of following a random page. So what will happen is suppose if D is equal to one, so it means the probability of following a link is one. So this term will become here zero. Once it is zero, so the whole thing becomes L. So we, we achieve our own previous solution. If the D is equal to zero, then the whole thing is actually one divided by N into L, which is actually uh, N is total number of uh, web pages. So this is like total uh, randomness. So we are creating complete randomness. So what will happen is we'll find a very, uh, a very uh, not very small value because we don't need that complete randomness, a uh, value close to one for introducing the small randomness to get out of this G page randomly uh, with some probability uh, so that we do not get stuck here and all weights do not go here and uh, we get out of this problem so this is the main idea uh, and in coding uh, we will just show you a simple two things one finding the eigenvalues and eigenvectors using using python scipy and and, and numpy uh, internal libraries and uh, using this iterative power method i guess the 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 technical term the technical name of this of this iterative uh, method is power method we'll also use this power method and we'll compare the results we begin with importing the libraries then what we do is uh, we are explaining this problem here in the detail as i have already explained uh, this is initializing this uh, l matrix uh, this l matrix we have initialized it uh, like like uh, without any uh, actual data set this is a dummy data set but we can also initialize it with actual data set where we will be scrapping data sets uh, where, where we will be scrapping websites and finding out these these values inside the l matrix once we have that uh, then we find out the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this l matrix using linear algebra library uh, then we will find out uh, the the uh, the first eigenvalue and we will find out using that eigenvalue the eigenvector uh, so this is like the principal eigenvector and we'll set that principal eigenvector to be to uh, to be r and that principal eigenvector uh, will actually uh, sum to one uh, we'll normalize it to sum to one so that we find out and then we multiply it by 100 so that we find out in a way intuitive number we'll have intuitive number of of saying how much important that page is so the most important page is of course c then we have d then we have a then we have f and then we have b and then we have e so e is almost having zero value okay now what we do is uh, we can randomly initialize that r value and we can also uh, iteratively do uh, take a dot product between the l and r for 100 times and once we do this iteration we will achieve the same the same numbers almost the same numbers if you look at it uh, like uh, the solution is very much same okay now uh, we can we can uh, repeat this mat this loop this loop for 100 times or we can also find out kind of a kind of a tolerance uh, if the tolerance has been achieved then we stop the condition is uh, if the condition of tolerance is true then we stop otherwise we repeat again and again again and again now this is the thing this is where we are talking about this uh, dangling damping parameter uh, where we talked about uh, this uh, what you call mm, uh, randomness so suppose we do not add randomness and we apply this function then we converge but the convergence has a very weird kind of a solution if you look at it so this is very much different than the previous solution where all of the weights for all of the other uh, uh, links are almost zero and all of the weights are going to this f and g which is not the right right way of saying so then we introduce this uh, damping parameter and once we have this randomness and damping parameter we we set this d value of 0 0.5 we can play with this para hyperparameter and and once we uh, again apply uh, we come up with a we come up we come up with a reasonable solution so uh, then uh, the whole process is complete the for understanding perspective this whole thing is complete but let's work with a bit uh, a real kind of a, a little bit more realistic kind of a data so we have we have uh, we have wrapped this whole logic
logic into a function so this is included in this one function uh, page rank uh, which is take which, which is taking uh, this link matrix as a as a input and this d uh, as this probability or the randomness uh, randomness hyperparameter uh, this is just to generate uh, in end kind of uh, almost realistic type of a data uh, this is again a dummy data but but it it, it, it is a more close to a realist, realistic type of a data so once we generate different internet uh, different um, l matrices of different sizes suppose we generate for 100 different pages so this matrix will be of 100 cross 100 and uh, once we generate that then we uh, look at these eigenvalues and eigenvector solution and this is the solution using a numpy library uh, but uh, this solution will be very computationally expensive once uh, these uh, these L matrices go up to million cross million square matrices because uh, there are millions and millions of pages. Okay, uh, now if we if we uh, apply this whole function using this page rank algorithm, this is what we have applied using the page rank algorithm. So this is the solution. But after applying this eigenvalues and eigenvectors, the solution is again same. So both of the solutions are same. I hope so this makes sense now.